So previously in the past, I've been coming down to these old growth floodplains you see here. About twice the summer I come here with the scythe and I cut the switch cane. That way I can actually get through all this stuff and see if there are any mushrooms on fallen logs and whatnot. But uh, last time I came down here, there were actually chanterelles growing in the areas that I cut. So I'm gonna be a lot more intentional and try to make it like four or five times. Uh, come down here four or five times during the summer and cut and switch came back in multiple different places because it seems like when I clear, um, we're getting chanterelles, russulas, and various type of uh, ground, ground mushrooms popping up. And also when I clear around the logs, I end up getting things like these wood ears. <clears throat> now, it honestly hasn't really been raining down here a lot. Also forgive me, all I brought was a paint strainer bag for the, if I did find any mushrooms. But uh, there are wood ears here. So, we'll keep an eye out. The um, vernal pools over there, they also dried up. So I'm gonna go look over there in a second and see if I can find any chanterelles or russulas. But since these wood ears are out, I'm sure I'll find more. I don't know how much y'all recognize this area, but this was filled with water like three or four weeks ago. Um, but if you have old growth floodplains, as I was just mentioning, there's a lot of switch cane that grows in the bottom of them. You don't have a lot of clear areas that you can go hunting for mushrooms. But if you have these vernal pools, AKA ephemeral pools, they're temporary pools that only develop really in the fall winter and spring and this one actually kept going until the summer which is a little bit unusual but um there's basically nothing that grows here though i mean this is kind of like the old floodplain agriculture how they used to clear fields and stuff back in the day that's how the ancients ate wheat is they had floodplain agriculture um anyways ephemeral pools i bet this is probably where they got the ideas from originally because these are filled up with water for so long that you drain them in the summer, they don't have any vegetation in them. Long story short, you can find chanterelles, russulas, and various types of mushrooms down here. That was the old reishi log right there. You can see the reishis are degraded on it. But um, it's been like 95 degrees with no, with no rain at all. So there aren't any mushrooms down here right now. But we'll keep an eye out. I'm sure we'll have chanterelles for y'all to see down here very soon. But yeah, just look out for these areas. Very useful to know about. I was just saying that I hadn't found any mushrooms down here. These are some bolites. These are not the inedible variety. I find these a lot down here, but a good example of uh, mushrooms just popping out of these old vernal pools. They're all over the place in here.
I think I went a couple days too long without picking these cucumbers. They got a little big. It's a serpent, uh, I think it's an Armenian serpent snake cucumber right here. I'm gonna pick that one tomorrow before we go to the farmer's market. It's been a real hot past couple of weeks, so I haven't really been filming during the day a lot. And honestly, during the day, I'm doing a lot of canning of tomatoes. I've made cowboy candy. I've made a lot of Sicilian green beans. I've just been boiling my okra and eating that with butter, but I actually like that. Taylor thinks it's kind of weird, but... But, yeah. A lot of indoor work this time of year. More over there. Looks like it's definitely summertime. I traded some tomatoes, or I traded some cucumbers for some tomatoes at Jess's, and she gave me those, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've got a lot of work to do. I can't film inside, everything looks, doesn't look good when I record it. So, I'm not re gonna record me doing all this, which is probably contributing to why this video probably won't be as long as most of the other life of a Permis, because I've been doing this so much, but. I am staying busy, I promise. So I'm cooking up eggs, the brisket, and my middle tomato or tomatillo salsa, or the, um, I think I should do the brisket first. I mean, you'll heat up in that toaster in like, I'm going to, I'll just do it all in this Three minutes. Make an egg too. I have no idea. Why are you asking me that? I don't know nothing. You know nothing? Breakfast. Is salt on it? I was thinking about it, but I was just trying it. Mm. Is that's quite a lot of bitterness that I didn't expect it to have. The red ones might be better. Hmm. That's so good though. Okay.
I sprayed that compost tea last week. It's Tuesday. I was off yesterday, but everything is looking really, really green here. I'll make some more of that next week. I'm in the uh, contour garden cutting the taller weeds with my folding scythe here but this is the first time I've ever grown Mexican sunflower it's a beautiful little flower I thought it was gonna look just like a regular sunflower but it it doesn't but uh I think there's a bunch of permaculture uses for it I need to look it up I'll probably look put it at the bottom of the screen but I've heard permies going crazy over it but let me get back to trying to tame it just a tiny bit I uh, planted a bunch of fruit trees and stuff down here for my grandma about two or three years ago and I just didn't keep up with it properly. And a lot of pine trees, we've continued to mow around it, but uh, a lot of pine trees and briars and stuff have started to take them over and it actually killed quite a bit of them. 
So I'm gonna clear all these out. Hopefully a storm doesn't come. Um, and go ahead and get them ready so we can replant some and just open them up. It looks like there's a pear tree or something right here. So some of the stuff did live, but I gotta work on it for a while. 